Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today, unfortunately, I have some, I guess for you guys, some exciting news. I guess for me, I've got some shitty news. I actually died twice in the two-week race in like the past two days. Uh, I was actually really frustrated with both of these deaths, which is really odd because normally, I honestly, I'll be, I'll be quite like serious. I don't really mind that much. It's just like, oh, well, I'll just reroll again. I think it's because it was such a short-term race. It just really triggered me. Uh, I also was upset with my own uh, mistakes because I obviously butchered this really badly. Uh, rather than just running a dowsing flask and removing my RF, I always just try to brute force through Labyrinth because I think to myself, I dislike Labyrinth so much and I know a bunch of other people do that maybe one day they'll change it, but I realize that's a silly way to think and that's my own mistake. Um, you know, I can't blame them for any of this. So, uh, unfortunately, I died top seven, top eight on the ladder doing an Uberlap trial there. Um, character was going fucking phenomenal. We were climbing like crazy. Uh, it was so much fun because, you know, in this league with Mayhem, there's just shit, or sorry, in this two-week race, there's just shit everywhere. You know, 20 additional strong boxes, 10 additional breaches, 20 tormented spirits. There's just so many things all over the place, which is really cool. So I told myself, you know what? I can't quit there. So I made another character. And I made it literally within like 20 hours I made it. And I got back to where I was because I needed a little break. And this is the character that you see here. And I just hit level 70, so I was five levels to go before I transitioned. And I made a mistake of doing breaches in an indoor area, which you can see is this. And this guy shot a orb at me, and it like hit just perfectly. And I got, I kept getting essentially stun locked out of it. And, uh, well, yeah. That death was kind of to a fail logout slash uh, not having a logout macro, but it's okay. Uh, there you can see, that's my, uh, my angry looking face. Uh, I was, uh, <laughs> I almost wanted to like cry, dude. I was like, are you serious? You can see here. Let me see. Let me see. Can you, can you see the face? Look, look, look. It's almost like I'm crying, dude. It's like I shed more tears for video games than real life women. But anyway, um, so that was kind of lame. That was my character at level 70 that ripped. Um, this one was more of just like an, just kind of like a shitty scenario to be in. That's kind of PoE, you know? Um, so instead I want to go ahead and kind of boot up Path of Exile and show you guys this why I'm, I'm so kind of upset is because I have so much currency in this league right like in the two week mayhem I remade a character level 38 I don't know if I'm going to continue it or not because I was supposed to play critical online but it kind of released at a bad time with the two week mayhem coming out and I have been told that there's quite a few changes that have happened and occurred to uh, uh, what is that game called uh, Wilson so I might check out Wilson for a couple days because I'm honestly all I'm really doing is stalling until the new beta patch comes because I don't really want to play anything on live at the moment except for low life RF because come beta I have to make a low life RF to see the change difference and I actually think it's easier to start low life righteous fire now um, but the other thing is I want to test a bunch of new builds I don't want to test a new build on live when it's literally getting changed into a new mechanic on uh, beta. So all the characters I want to play on beta are still there, like my low life right. Sorry, actually I have a little thing here. Let me show you. I have to play non crit fire trap, crit freeze pulse totem. I might remake my blight character, but the new threshold jewels are kind of ass. Uh, Immolate Inquisitor, which I don't think I'm gonna do, but I know for a fact I want to make my Arc Mines character, but I want to make it with mind over matter and go like hybrid with life, uh, life and mind over matter. So, um, anyway, let's go ahead and show you guys what I've kind of found and why I'm so upset with myself, right? So I've got a decent amount of currency, like an okay amount of wealth here, nothing too crazy. You got 4x, 40 chaos, 1.1k uh, jewelers, 200 fuses, some GCPs, uh, some regrets. I've got an okay amount of splinters. And then I also found a fucking Combs Heart while I was leveling my character. So I've got a beautiful Combs Heart just sitting here. With all this other stuff that I found, right? And like, I have a level 39, 38 character. Not to mention, I already bought all of my gear for my low life righteous fire character. Like, it's literally all sitting here. This was actually pre made on my other character, but he died. So he didn't get the transition. So I've got all this, everything is literally lined up for me. Like, I bought, like, I, it's all here. I just have to re level again. And I don't know if I feel like doing that. Um, so we'll see what happens. Obviously just tune into the stream to see exactly what happens next. Um, 
Yeah, so we'll see. But I, I do have to say, if you guys haven't played the two week mayhem and you really want to make like a retarded character, if you can get low life righteous fire going, man, you will have the most fun experience ever. Just shield charging through maps with like seven invasion bosses on you. It's just beautiful, man. You take no damage unless, of course, it's a labyrinth trap. Uh, but yeah, it's it's great. I'm so excited for that. But anyway. Um, yeah, you know, uh, we'll figure out what happens next. Uh, I love to, uh, I'd love to update you guys in the future though when I can finally test out some new builds. I think I'm gonna start off with a Freeze Pulse Totems character um, because, as you guys know, Act Eight is coming out. I can actually pull it up. Let me, let me grab it for you guys here. Act Eight is coming out with um, the new Labyrinths. Well, not the new Labyrinths, but the other Labyrinths. So later in this week, we'll be deploying Act 8 in the Beta Realm. So it is currently Wednesday here, so it's coming in a couple days. This update should also include a character wipe so that we can obtain new data about character progression in the upcoming expansion. Natu uh, naturally, Act 8 includes many new bosses and areas to explore. While we eagerly await the update, here's a preview of one of the new areas. So I'm just going to show you guys the Harbor Bridge as well, if you guys are curious for that. Feels loading screen, man. Are these like the four bosses you have to fight or something? fun dude i want to fight some double bosses uh anyway though that's pretty much going to be it for this video i hope you guys had a wonderful time i hope you guys enjoyed yourself and i hope i didn't upset you guys too much with my early and kind of unfortunate rips anyway hope you guys have a wonderful time hope you guys enjoyed yourselves and i'll see you boys all tomorrow take care everybody